Hi, welcome to Drum Tutor. Uh, my name is Reno and we are here today for another lesson. So now we're going to move on to Paradiddle Diddle Exercise 2.2. Now this is a fun one for those of you who are slightly advanced in your drumming journey right now. Okay, so if you can look at the sheet music right below. Okay, the sticking pattern for the first 12 notes are the same as 2.1. But the last four notes, we're going to spice things up a little. We are going to do a paradiddle, half of the paradiddle, which is right, left, right, right. So that when we loop the exercise around, you will now lead the whole exercise with your left hand. All right. Okay. So now back to your drums and your practice pad and we'll begin this exercise now. Alright, now that we've learned how to play the rudiment in both subdivisions in sextuplet and 16th note, we are now going to apply this rudiment as a groove in a groove setting. Alright, so if you look at the sheet music below, okay, I'll give you some time to, to take a look at the part and then we'll try it out together at 75 BPM. All right, that was a groovy one. All right, so now we will move on uh, from a groove setting to a fill-in setting. All right, so I will demonstrate to you how, how I would apply this in a fill-in setting. If you look at the sheet music below, all right, I'll give you guys some time to figure out which part of the drums I'm playing this on. And we will do this particular exercise at 96 BPM. Now, for those of you who might be or will feel that you guys are going to struggle at 96 BPM, it's fine, just slow it down at a comfortable tempo you are in and then you speed it up later on in the exercise. All right, I hope you guys had fun for with today's lesson, okay, the pedal diddle diddle exercise. Now, I leave it up to you guys uh, to practice it on your own and come up with your own stuff over it, okay. So, what I've just given you is just a few examples, okay, I leave the rest up to you and, and, and stretch your creativity across it. You can apply this in one of your exam songs or maybe one of the gigs that you'll be playing in, all right. So, we'll see you in the next lesson.